This time I'm going to be at St. Joseph, Missouri. I'll be at the Rosecrans Airport. The center line of the eclipse goes right across the southwestern corner of the airport. And uh, I'll be there with a group of other folks, two other colleagues of mine uh, who are eclipse chasers also. will be there with, uh, with a host of thousands of others who are going to join us. You know, this is uh, something that so many people are preparing for, that they're excited about. And even in the highest point of totality, you're talking about an event that lasts three minutes. Why is this such a big deal culturally? What's it mean? Well, in this particular instance, the totality lasts a little over two minutes and 40 seconds, which is on the short side, I'd say, for solar eclipse totality. But the reason why this is such a great cultural event is because people actually get to stand in the shadow of the moon. Because it passes all the way across the United States, millions of people will get to experience this really wonderful and somewhat unique astronomical event. And you have to remember that what makes this really cultural significant for people is that this is a way for them to participate in a really significant an authentic science experience without having to do very much. And it's an astronomical experience, so they don't need any sophisticated equipment, really, and everybody can experience this and also see this really wonderful demonstration of the mechanics of the solar system as they see the moon pass between the Earth and the sun. This may be a bit of a stretch, but we're a business network, so let's try and get this back to business. Can I try and get this back to science? Some, uh, something that really um, matters to this community. Why, why should business leaders be watching this? Why should people who are interested in business be watching this? Well, this is this is almost like an ultimate uh, tourist destination event. I mean, you can't actually create an event like this to bring people into a location. But to have total solar eclipses happening across the United States, if you could have that happen several times a year or maybe once a year or so, you can really generate a lot of business. So if you look at the T-shirt market or if you look at the glasses market or you look at, you know, just the, the, the tourism angle as it is, look what's happened with car rentals. Look what's happened with hotel rentals. Look what's happened with sales of anything in the eclipse path. Those things have exploded. So this is a real business boon for a lot of communities that may not normally see huge amounts of people. I mean, there are tens of thousands of people pouring into places that only have populations of maybe a few hundred. And even though it's just going to be for a couple of days, it's going to be a real uh, shot in the arm for a lot of those communities. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.